guys and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be counting down the top five coaches I've ridden from a non-rider's perspective. Now this is a bit of a different list so I'll just quickly explain um, basically what it's about. If you are a non-rider so you have friends that are riding a certain coaster but you don't want to ride it um, you obviously don't want to just be sat there looking at the same old thing over and over again. To make this list, it's got to be something that's entertaining from off-ride over a, a, a decent amount of time, let's say. And before we do get started, sorry, I would just like to clarify that this is only coasters I've personally ridden, so there may be better coasters for non-riders out there, but this is what I've been on. And coming in at number five, over from Europa Park, it is Arthur and the Kingdom of the Mini Moys. And mainly this one is for the Kingdom of the Mini Moys, that whole indoor area. You've obviously got the ride over the top, but then you've got a few little kiddie rides. I suppose if you're a non-rider for the coaster, you might want to go on the kiddie rides. But you've got all the theming inside there, you've got all the audio in there, you've got all the atmosphere in there. And yeah, it's just a really nice place to stand around and watch everything going on. And I imagine it's going to take quite a while for you to get bored in there. So you should be able to wait for your friends for a long time. In at number four then, from Alton Towers, it's Oblivion. And this is mainly just for the drop. They really do a good thing of allowing you all the way around 360 of that drop zone so you can view it from loads of different angles. You can get right up close to the drop zone. You can see people's reactions from on the ride and as the train disappears under. And then you can also go and stand and watch it emerge from the other side. And that's really what I'd say about this one in terms of why it's made the list. Um, I was going to put Oblivion the Black Hole in because it's got nice theme around, it's got a soundtrack around, but I think Oblivion itself's drop zone is just a lot better than it. You can't really get up close to the black hole, uh, the Oblivion, the black hole's drop zone, because it's got all its theming around it, and that's probably the only hindrance for that um, in terms of the criteria for this list. So yeah, Oblivion at number four for its viewing opportunities of the ride itself. In at number three then, I was debating this one for number two, but it has just made it at number three, um, and it's Wicker Man at Alton Towers. It's got all the theming around for the non-riders to look at. It's got the audio, which is really good around the whole area. It's got the ride itself, the big structure. Um, when the fire effects are actually going on that, which they haven't been for a long time, I don't know why, um, but when the fire effects are going on that, it's quite cool to look at. Um, and then you've got the ride itself, it looks really fast, it looks really fun from off-ride, you can see all the people's reactions because of how close you can get to it, um, and you've got that really nice viewing area, and you've also got the shop uh, to go and look around right next to it, to the main viewing area, um, so Wickerman's just really good coaster, once again off-ride, mainly for me off-ride, it's the soundtrack and the theming though. In at number two then, this is the one I was debating with Wickerman whether it should go in position two or position three and eventually I decided to put this one above Wickerman in the list. It is Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This one does loads of cool stuff from an off-ride perspective. It's got that awesome soundtrack all round. Um, it's got mild bits of theme in everywhere but mainly it just looks really clean and that's one of the things I really like about it. But the main reason I actually put this one above Wicker Man um, is due to the the location of it, I suppose you can say. It's got so many viewing areas, so many places to go and look at it um, and gain a different perspective. You can stand right above the two launches, both of them. Um, you can stand over where the first section all goes directly underneath it, which is really cool. You can um, stand just before the queue starts to watch it over on the kind of the Pizza Express bridge, I think it's called, because um, it looks like Pizza Express. Um, and then there's the Coasters restaurant as well that opened up, well, that got refurbished this year, that's got a balcony on it now, and that's a really good place to go and sit and watch it and get uh, some food and drink whilst watching it as well. And you can basically talk to people um, and just see their reactions. And from a non-rider's perspective, I think that's really good. I think another reason as well I've put it above Wickerman is its throughput. 
from an on-rider's perspective, you don't want to be sitting there for hours waiting for your friends. You want to be able to go and get on stuff with your friends as well. And I did actually also mention it in the vlog as well. I think the coaster itself is just really awesome to look at. I said about all the different points to look at it, but it's just so majestic um, to watch from off-ride, the way it glides around the track. And I think the slight slowness to it, it's not slow by any means, but the slight slowness to it compared to other coasters allows it to move so gracefully around the track. And that is another thing I think really uh, makes it good for a non-rider. In at number one then, it's another multi-launch coaster and this time it is my number one coaster anyway, it is Taron. Um, yeah, it's awesome to look at from our ride, it's similar to Icon, it's really graceful um, going around its track but it certainly isn't as slow. It is so fast uh, from on-ride and from off-ride. It's awesome to look at from that perspective. It's got brilliant audio around the whole area, but then the Klugheim area itself is absolutely brilliantly done as well. That rock work is insanely good. The whole uh, area around it with all the buildings and the places to eat and the shops in there are really good. You can spend time in there. Um, just the whole area is so well done and the atmosphere in there is brilliant. There's loads to look at. It takes a while to get bored in Klugheim. There's so many places to look at Taron from. Again, it's similar to what I said with Icon. You can get so many different viewing points of it. Um, I think just from a non-rider's perspective, Taron is the best ride that I've personally been on. Well then guys, that's my list. Do you agree with it? I've not had the most experience of being a non-rider with rides, so I kind of had to gauge what I think I'd rather wait a long time for. Basically, the way I pictured things was if I was told I had to stand for an hour, where would I rather stand? That's how I came up with it. Um, but if you have any rides out there that you'd rather be a non-rider for, tell me, of course, in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it. And of course, subscribe if you are new around here. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, goodbye.